Okay, believe it or not, this is the third time I have attempted to record a live video. The first time I had it sideways, I had it landscape because that's how you're supposed to record video. And so as a result, I was like this because Facebook has not yet decided to let us record landscape video. Isn't that brilliant? The second time, in between the first time and what I'm doing now, Facebook had decided to release the opportunity to do live video for my personal account. And so I ended up doing a live video on my personal Facebook profile about legal skills, which I'm sure was really interesting to all my friends and family who have nothing to do with the legal industry. And now, with any luck, if I've clicked the right series of buttons, I am in the right place. My name is Chris Hargraves. I'm from tipsforlawyers.com and I run the Tips for Lawyers Facebook page as well. Welcome to this video. And today, ironically enough, I wanted to talk about personal professional growth. I want to talk about mastery of your legal skills because mastery of your legal skills is not something that happens overnight. And the fact that this is the third time I've attempted to record a Facebook video successfully should be a compelling enough reason to tell you that you are not going to always get it right the first time. So what is the point of mastering our legal skills? I call it personal professional growth because I had a lot of trouble figuring out what to actually say about it. But the fact is this, it is about a devotion to constant improvement of those areas where you are not necessarily going to be exposed on a day-to-day -day basis. What you're going to be exposed to on a day-to-day -day basis is what I'll call the grind. It's the day-to-day -day function of a lawyer. It's taking calls, it's doing admin, it's doing filing, it's doing all those things. And if you get too caught up in the doing and just hope that you're actually going to get better at those things, then you're not necessarily going to actually improve your skills in those areas. Because if you simply do the same thing, if you do what you're told and only what you're told, if you take no opportunity to actually expand your legal skills in those areas, then what's going to happen is you're just going to repeat the same day, the same week, the same month, and the same year over and over again. So after five years of attending a law firm, you're not necessarily going to have five years more experience or five years improved mastery of your legal skills. What you might just have is five years of actually repeating the same thing over and over again. And what if that thing isn't necessarily good for you? What if that thing is not necessarily the best practice? What if that thing could be done better? Because as you do it time and time and time again, if you do it wrong, then you're in fact going to stay in that place. You're going to not improve. You're going to not incrementally grow in that area. So if you want to improve in legal drafting, if you want to improve in marketing and networking, if you want to improve in your business skills, then what you need to do is you need to actually focus on incremental and systemic improvement in your legal skills. This devotion to continuous growth, this mastery of your legal skills. So how are you going to do that? The other day I was watching a documentary called Jiro Dreams of Sushi and Jiro was a master sushi maker. He was talking about this concept of mastery and he was talking even at his age and he is an old man now and he is regarded by many to be the best creator of sushi in the world and he was talking about this concept of climbing towards the peak of his particular field. But he made the point and I think he made it accurately that you don't necessarily know where the peak is and there may be no peak you might just be on this con continuous growth you might be continually looking for opportunities to refine to hone to expand to sharpen your skill set and that's what you need to be devoted to as a lawyer so how are you going to do that this is not designed to be an epic lesson this is not designed to be a 25 minute live recording this is a short video so how are you actually going to devote yourself to that continual improvement that is so absolutely necessary for anyone in the legal field. Perhaps you're going to take time out every day. Perhaps you're going to step back. Perhaps you're good at reflecting and self-awareness. Utilize the skills you have available to you and utilize the people around you to go, where do I need to focus my attention and how each day am I going to refine and hone my skills so that it is better than the day before? And that is all you need to do. You need to devote yourself to continual improvement of your legal skills. Most people don't. Most people get caught in the grind and most people then come back a year later and go, well, hang on, things are actually no different now than what they were before. I'm a year older, my salary may have gone up a little, I'm a bit more expensive for my clients, but where are my legal skills going? How am I actually growing in those areas? Am I a better writer than I was last year? Am I bringing in more clients than I was last year? Can I write an article 
for marketing purposes better than I can last year? Am I more comfortable in networking events than I was last year? Am I better at making relationships than I was last year? What are we going to actually do to achieve those things? That is the end of this video. Hopefully it actually works this time. Hopefully I posted it to the right spot. That is my incremental improvement for the day. I've hopefully done a video in the right orientation, on the right channel, to the right page, and I'll see you next time.